episode 32 it's the bourbon talking podcast i'm billy and i'm here with my friend jimmy and today what we're going to do is drink a little bourbon while we talk smack about life and things and stuff and whatnot and at the very end of the podcast we're going to give it a rating for you we're drinking it so you don't have to jimmy what we got today <laughs> hey we are drinking jefferson's and Billy made a mistake because he thought he was buying the Jefferson's Ocean, but he bought the Jefferson. So this was totally new to us. We've never had it. Yep. And, um, you know, there's a picture of Mr. Jefferson on the back of the bottle. And so anyways, uh, we're going to give this one a shot today. We'll stick around to the end. We'll grade it and see if Billy can do math. Yep. So we're a, a fan of Jefferson Ocean. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I went to grab that. We got home. And uh, it was Jefferson Standard. So we're going to try it out. We've never had it. So you guys can join along on the journey. So or ride along on the journey. Something welcome. like that. <laughs> All right. First sip. Here we go. Mm. Cold and wet. All right. Well, stick around to the end. I'll tell you if I liked it or not. You'll be able to tell. But anyways, yeah. hey, <laughs> you'll know. So, uh, word on the street, uh, you, you got your new CBO. It happened. It happened. It's kind of one of the reasons why it's been over a week before we have done a podcast. Yeah, he, he's been burning the road up back and forth to the Harley dealership. So back on episode seventeen of the podcast, a leaked photo came out of this new prototype that harley came out the new cvo road glide and street glide and i got mr skipper had to have it i was chomping at the bit i got so excited about this so i immediately started counting my sales per when can we order it what well, we don't even know if it exists yet it's just a it's a prototype we don't know if it's coming out in three years or hey but they talked him out of a down payment yeah so uh we waited about another month or two, and it was confirmed. They're coming out. And so I was – I know that my dealership has like three or four dealerships, or my the owner of the Have dealership multiple. has multiple. I know I was the first one to put a deposit down on it. I get it on Friday the 14th. I got a phone call. It got shipped and landed at my dealership on the 13th. Now, there's a lot of people on YouTube that have been waiting on this bike as well, doing, you know, speculative reviews and, and all this stuff. And well, some and, of them are trying to guesstimate by looking at the picture of yeah. what it may and may not have as far as features. And yeah. And so there's a lot of speculation out. I already knew it's, it's going to be great and I won't, I want it. I'm part of it. Let's do it. And, uh, so I, I put a deposit down on it, and I got mine on Friday, and it's it's been confirmed by as many people that I can confirm it by that I was the first person on planet Earth to purchase this bike. And it took another four or five days for them to start landing at other dealerships and people actually buying them, but I got it. He got it, and you know what? That is one expensive sewing machine. Hey, shh. They gave it to me. Oh, uh, it, uh, <laughs> it's a so. I mean, it's uh, the yeah. so machine is actually louder. Uh, a Prius was a little bit louder than this. Yeah, motorcycle. so Harley said, "Hey, uh, typically the <laughs> the CVOs come with a four inch exhaust on it. This year with this one, they upgraded it to a four and a half inch exhaust, and um, that we fixed it. That's, it sounds good. Okay, well, when you're at four thousand RPMs and you're ripping on it, it actually does wake up, and it it." was the best sounding stock CVO they had ever come out with. It's still way too quiet. I caught myself several times doing 75 miles an hour on the interstate. Ooh, I'm in fourth gear. I mean, she's still wanting to eat, you know, but I forgot to shift gears. It's just so quiet. You can't hear it. Yeah. So yeah. peer pressure got the best of Billy here yes. and he went and bought, <laughs> went, went for an oil change. People went in for an oil change. She only had, came out with new exhaust. It had a hundred miles on it. And I, <laughs> change the, and I said, I'm not changing anything on this CVO. Well, our plan was to replace baffles. Uh, shout out to, to Bill at, at Adam Act. He did his best, but we had Bill. some, 
No, the, Bill, the parts guy. Oh, okay. that came out. Yeah, and uh, so Bill tried to. He, oh, man, I think I got a plan. We'll try it. So I came down. It didn't work. Um, but luckily, Chromeworks has some four and a half inch exhaust that match perfectly with that smoked chrome that they have on that black so, chrome, whatever it's called. Yeah. But anyways, no, it sounds good now. That bike is amazing. Harley's been in my head and every little quirk, every little, man, I wish it would, I wish it would, they fixed everything. The brakes is amazing. The suspension does not need to be upgraded with Olins or Legends. It's, it's perfect the way it is. Um, the, I can't talk enough about the brakes. I usually ride with two or three fingers over the front brake and when i need it i grab with two or three this is a one finger brake those radial mallard brembos they will they stop on a dime and the roof leaks yeah <laughs> so, <laughs> so you've, you've had that one in as much water and rain as i've had my brand yeah, new one too <laughs> it's it's something about it man uh we like to ride in the rain a little bit, don't we, buddy? Man, I tell you what, it doesn't, it <laughs> never fails. It's going to rain at some point during the day. But so, so, so I thought I was going to have to break this bike in at Sturgis, which is not optimal. You, you, you don't want to be going on all these rides and not be able to, excuse me, not be able to go over 3,000 RPMs and all this. So, so in a week, I put 1,000 miles on it and. The boys decided to follow me down to go get my first oil change, and actually my second oil change, <laughs> but my fir- my first service on it at, at the thousand mile break in, and on the way home, of course the weatherman says, "No, hey, no, we 30- weren't even supposed to come home then. We were supposed to go." Yeah, weatherman said thirty percent chance at three o'clock. At one o'clock, we look out the window and it's raining. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I check the radar. Oh my goodness. So, and we're looking at the radar, and it's like a big hurricane coming through. Well, like, not really, Phil, but look at this. I got to go. Oh, yeah, I think it's done. It's in line for detail. Man, I don't need that thing washed. Whip it around. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> and you ever uh, you ever come over an overpass and seen the black sky and then realize, what's it mean when the sky's teal green? What's that? That means it's full of water. <laughs> it's good. It's coming down. Oh, there was plenty was of lightning, lightning, and, lightning it, and popping, yeah, wind blowing, and I don't know. I, I I try not to ride in the rain, but that was definitely a what do you call it? A confidence builder. A confidence builder, but man, that, I tell you what, it was it was nasty. That I was, was probably, gnarly. Yeah, even going over the Dames Point Bridge, you yeah. know that. And I don't know if you're going to see this, but that truck driver, you know who you are. This guy gets behind us. It's a 38-minute ride home. It took us an hour and 40 minutes to get home. If not longer. This truck driver got behind us in St. Augustine. He was riding a little too close to my buddy John. And I was like, what is this guy doing? Why doesn't he pass? And then I noticed he had his flashers on. This guy stayed behind us. Oh, could have passed us. Could have yeah. left us alone. He stayed Ran behind us for an hour us. and 30 yeah. minutes. Ran blocker with us all the way uh, till yeah. we got off 95. And uh, there's no telling if that guy saved us or not. But that's your biggest fear is somebody running up behind you and running over you. And this guy was running blocker behind us the whole way. And uh, kudos to you, man, whatever your name is. Wish I could buy you dinner. No lie, no, that, that was, was uh, awesome. We got we got definitely kept anybody from coming up on us. Yeah, we got off the the expressway there on US seventeen, and he laid on the horn and gave us a wave. It was awesome. Took care of us. So Billy's had more oil changes in the first week of this bike than he had on the past two. I've been to that dealership four times last week. I'm, I'm <laughs> I told him I said I'm not going to see you guys till I come back from church. They're so, like, hey, uh, I, t- I tried to unlock the dealership and get the coffee pot turned on this morning, but my key didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> I was Which, uh, an employee hey, for the week there. Good uh, good segue into uh, what's coming up here in about four days. It's time! Yeah. <laughs> Road trip. Yeah, Sturgis. Sturgis is here. So we are... Well, Terry's already packed. Well, yeah, I'm not. I'm <laughs> she's, doing she's laundry five days right now. <laughs> my whole kitchen countertop is full of 
this, that, and the other. And I'm like, we're probably going to use that nine times before we let Boba. No, no, we're, uh, it's, it, but my bike's washed. <laughs> it's ready yep, to go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you got that cap smud off of it. Oh God, everything yeah. off of it, man. It came <laughs> off with the, uh, the, the yard blower on it, blew all the water yeah. out, emptied the speaker wells out and dried it down. And she's ready for uh Sturgis. But no, it's uh, yeah, we're ready. We're gonna be heading out. We rented an RV, so we're gonna pull the bikes out, and hopefully, we can use the RV as a uh, mobile podcast uh, recording studio. Yeah, we're definitely going to do a couple. Um, we'll be doing some shorts and some podcasts while we're out there as well. That's if we're not having too much fun. But uh, that's definitely our plan. Of course, our travel plans has changed several times, so. Uh, we are now taking the Taj Mahal on the way out there and pulling the trailer. And so I, I think we realized that our transportation out to Sturgis might actually be nicer than the house that we were staying in Sturgis. So, it's definitely bigger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I snore so much, everybody's threatening to just stay in the camper anyway and just give me the house. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's probably what's going to happen. <laughs> so first thing on the packing list is a CPAP machine. So, uh, Or you uh, can <laughs> sleep in the trailer. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, we're looking forward to that. Um, pulling out of here early Saturday morning and uh, headed northwest. Yep. So we'll... Yeah, uh, so that gave to... us, what, two and a half days to get out there or whatever. Oh, yeah, but now we don't even have to stay at hotels. You we know, don't we can have just to stay at hotels. Of, yeah, we can just... eat ham, spam sandwiches on the way out there. And uh, it, you know, So now okay. what we can actually do you is... Nap, and I drive, and I nap, you drive, and just keep going. No reason to stop. And there should be some, some cool little sights to see on the way out there. So we'll just go from one of those to another to another on the way out there. Uh, but that thing can roll 24-7. We don't have to stop and sleep at hotels. We can take shit. So, no. oh yeah, our bathroom. Or breaks. we can just get all jacked up on Mountain Dew and just roll on. That's it. No, looking. For, hey, looking forward to it. You know, going out to Sturgis. I'm so excited about this. Mount Rushmore. So we're going to Yellowstone. I didn't know we were going to Yellowstone. It's out there. Yeah. You think we got time? We may. All right. I'm thinking we should. I mean, I, doubt, also, I doubt you'll see Kevin Costner out there. I already quit yeah. Yellowstone. <laughs> You, you know me, I'm the last person that ever wants anything like um, scheduled, itemized. But I like to kind of, when it's on vacation, man, I like to free flow, you know, just go with a breeze, man. However it happens, happens. But there is so much stuff I want to do while I'm out at Sturges. I'm also realizing that people have started going out there. Oh, there's people already making their way now. Three three weeks ago, yeah. two weeks ago, mm -hmm. because once the rally starts, this guy did this really cool video of of uh, Sturgis today and Sturgis during Sturgis rally mm -hmm. and how pleasant all these rides are through the needles and then the traffic jam during and like your sit stopped. Mm -hmm. And when there's a 900-pound buffalo three feet away from you and you're stuck in a traffic jam – Let's just hope he doesn't want to come by and say hi. Yeah, because there's no getting out of that buffalo's way if he just turns to you and says, huh. Oh, what What about the lady? I think I can hit you. The lady in Montana went for a hike in a trail and was killed by a bear. Now, you like, were just tell, telling me that I said today. to the link, it's like, holy crap. I mean, so, yeah. and Terry's like, hey, I want to go hiking. Oh, let's go yeah. from hiking shoes to running shoes. Uh, right. I'm not sure I want to go hiking, you, you know? know. It I don't want to blame it on the bear though. There's some real dumb people out there. I watched a a, a video the other day of this guy videoing this giant black bear coming up to this car and this lady sticks her hand out the window and the bear sits back and high fives her. Oh, yeah, it was real cute, but he could've probably could have gone worse. Yeah, <laughs> he probably could have just jacked you out of that well, car. I mean, if you go back and look at some of the uh the you know the buffaloes and stuff at Yellowstone. I mean, they're laying down and people are trying to get as close as they can to oh, them to yeah. kind of like get a selfie. And, and a buffalo will throw you fifty feet in yeah. the air. I mean, like a rag doll. Yeah. In fact, I was reading an article where a lady got gored by a. Yeah. Uh, well, they look all slow and, and dumb. Nope. They've been around a while. They 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 battled through extinction. You can't make it past. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah, we're not going to play with the wildlife. I don't want to. 
I won't be effing around with Buffalo. I would like to see them from a distance, but yeah, yeah. no. But if I'm sitting stopping, Grizzly. I got nowhere to go, and there's a buffalo right there. Putting the kickstand down, getting you on the other side of it. No. <laughs> hey, Terry. <laughs> oh, God, go pet it. <laughs> <laughs> Distract them while I get away. Yeah, you put, you put your hiking shoes on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to work out well for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I just I always envisioned the bad things happening. <laughs> but yeah, let's just don't antagonize the wildlife. Right, right. And that includes the wildlife at Sturgis. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, I can't wait. I don't know. Yeah. It's good. We're I mean, knowing us though, we're we're probably going to go to the Buffalo Chip or downtown like like once or twice. Oh, we got to play the we tourist got, route. Yeah, we got so many there's so many cool rides to do. We got to go see Rushmore, got to get the the plate signed. <laughs> now we're staying in Rapid City. Yeah. Which is still 30 minutes plus from Sturgis? Yeah. I don't know. I heard somebody. Everything's 50-something miles away. You know, so. I believe it. You know, so to get to these rides may be a 50-mile ride to get to where you start the ride that's four hours long. So they're saying uh, plan double. You know, so if you think, oh, we can go do that in three hours, you will spend six doing it. Well, you yeah, obviously get there, traffic is going to be so bad. Everybody's traffic. doing the same track, yeah. doing the same ride. And mm-hmm. it's, uh, it's crazy, but no, nah, yeah. it's, hey. But when you see, because they did a really good job of go ahead and, and putting all the, the routes out. Mm-hmm. And so when it says, oh, two and a half, so we're going to wake up tomorrow and do a two and a half hour route. No, that's going to take you five hours to do because you got to leave. Where you're at, get there, do the route, battle the traffic, battle the buffalo. Then by the time you get home, grizzly bear, it'll be time. Time for dinner. Yeah, and where's dinner? Back at the house or somewhere else? There's no telling. (laughs) There's no telling. But it's going to be fun, and we're going to try to catch as much of this on video as possible. We yeah, we are. I'll try to remember bring my GoPro. Keep forgetting to bring my GoPro all the time. Maybe I should get another GoPro. Then I don't have to worry about the one I forgot because I'll still have one with me. See that? See how I think about things? Yeah. <laughs> he'll forget. He, he may take it, but yeah. he'll leave it at the house, and then we're six hours away. Shit, I wish I brought my GoPro. Yeah. I'll be like, hey, Terry, you got my wallet. <laughs> Left my wallet in my other pants. You got me. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah. He may take the GoPro, but... <laughs> he still will forget it. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll try to do better. It's a memory, man. It's, it's losing. Oh, this is a hey. This is a bucket list item for us. Never been. Looking forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm excited about it. I want to get out there really quick, but yeah, everybody, know, even, a lot of everybody on the, I want to see on the way out. Everybody on the Sturgis website's like, uh, don't just rush to get to Sturgis. You know, just. Enjoy the ride out, you know. That's right. the uh, journey. The adventure. Yeah, the journey is just as yeah. much fun as the destination. Yeah. So I'm it, never in a hurry to come home, though. I'm always like, <laughs> but I, I I like what's around the next corner. If I'm on a road that I've never been on, I'm excited because I'm like, man. Well, yeah. yeah, we went around a corner yesterday on 95, and it was a parking lot with a rainstorm. It was clear. We turned yeah, we the corner like, a- oh shit, that ain't good. We have a a very we have a bridge called Dames Point between our dealership and the I don't, don't want to cross this bridge. Yeah, I don't want to cross this bridge in eighty mile an hour gusts and lightning and uh, aqua colored skies and rain. And Jimmy's like, let's press on. It, if we don't do it now, it's only going to get worse. <laughs> like, an hour later, the I rain quit. I don't think it can get any worse than this. And yeah. <laughs> We should have just found a bar. We should have just found a bar for about two hours. It would have been all right. But but according to that little radar, it was supposed to rain like all day. It's like, uh, Dude, how can weathermen well, they got be 50, so 50, effing wrong and they got still a 50, have their 50 job? Shot. Either it will rain or it won't. I mean, it's 50-50. Jeez. I mean, your life is They're a guess. fucking terribly wrong all the time. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm glad he doesn't play uh, hey, there's roulette. Gonna, there's going to be a, Red or black. a thirty. A lot of people don't know how rain percentages work. So if it there's a ten percent chance of rain, it means 
there's a 100% chance it's going to rain on 10% of the area of that broadcast network or where they're doing the forecast. That makes sense. 10% of everybody seeing this message is going to get rained on 100%. So after you know that, so it's like a 30% chance at three o'clock in the afternoon. All right. So there will be rain at three o'clock in the afternoon. No, there's a biblical downpour. You see Noah coming by passing you in a fast lane at one o'clock. Messed up my schedule. Had shit to do. Well, well. And yet he's still going to do the math at this bourbon at the end. <laughs> Your wife didn't go get to eat at Caps. No. And that's what. Well, neither did uh, John or Deborah. Yeah, but they haven't complained to us nine times that they haven't been to Caps yet. <laughs> Poor Laura. You're going to go eat there one day. Not today, but you will Not one this day. Week. <laughs> mm, maybe after the 14th. <laughs> you should. Okay. <laughs> you know what you should do? You should Uber Eats her some Caps. How many thousands would that cost? Well, it wouldn't be cheap, and it'd be damn cold by the time it got here. But then you could say, hey, it's a thought that it, counts. It, it, and for her to have, like, two bites. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad idea. Anyway, it'd be funny. <laughs> Inexpensive oh, joke. Here's, a, but here's a $20 platter if you show up. <laughs> We're going to a $2,000 delivery bill for her to eat two bites. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a bad idea. Anyway, it was funny in my head. She's got to take her word for it. It's it's good. It is. Well, yeah. I like that place. (laughs) I like, I like, I don't even know if I've even looked inside. You kind of walk through it real quick. Go to the outside bar and sit by the water. Yeah. If you're not outside, out back by the the bar, I don't know what you're doing there. Their parking lot's terrible. Oh, it's horrible. In fact, I still had mud on it from... It's terrible. The last time we went. They got to make a... Oh, you know what? I take that back. John was there. We took John there. We picked up his motorcycle. So it was just Deborah that didn't make it. Yeah. So, sorry, John. I forgot. We did take you there. That's because your brand new bike got muddy. My bike got muddy. Hope John told his wife that he's been there before. If not, she knows now. (laughs) But after yesterday, John, there's no mud on your bike, I promise you. After that ride home yesterday, I was like, dude, John's never going to talk to us again. No, I figured he would already deleted our phone number out of his phone yep. and everything. Like, yeah, those guys suck. <laughs> yeah. he, he hops out of the Jeep at dinner last night. I'm just kind of sitting there. Hey, buddy. You okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm good. I was like, Whew, okay. I was worried you'd never talk to me again. I'm telling you, it rained that hard the day I picked up my bike, and we went to Daytona, it rained that hard all the way to – Daytona. What I mean, it rained. Oh, it stormed. It, I, yesterday was bad. Like, we had no business riding in that kind of conditions. Well, at least you had a helmet. I did. <laughs> hey, and the next time I put on rain gear, say, hey, dumbass, put the pants on, too. Because <laughs> it really does no good if you're wearing rain gear and it's just the top. When you're wearing shorts and vans and... Well, you ought to just wear shorts in general, you know. Yeah. Uh, a baseball hat and sunglasses. That was it. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy's riding a bike 75 miles an hour in the rain with his hands over his eyes. Oh, it hurts it hurts so it bad. Gosh, it was like, like needles just beating well, me up. Well, that don't look safe. I bet he wishes he would have left his helmet on and well i threw my helmet in your wife's car <laughs> she they took decided off. to go to the outlet mall <laughs> we decided like well we're gonna go home we're gonna get your helmet hell no we can get home before the rain right. well that didn't happen that didn't work I we do not con- say, I, i've never been on 95 without a helmet before we do not condone operating a motorized no, vehicle do, without a helmet i do not suggest that that's the first time i've ever right gone down 95 with just mm. a I used to Baseball always ride a motorcycle without a helmet. And, man, the older I get, I'm like, I don't even want to go up, like, to the corner store without a helmet on now. I don't know. I got grandkids now. I got grandkids. And I got daughters. Again, if we ride to, from here to the island, um, helmet, I mean. I know. No helmet's fine. You know, No helmet's nice until that moment you're flying over to handlebars and you're like, bam. What would have been a good day to wear a helmet. Well, the goal <laughs> is not to go flying over to handlebars. True. But, yeah. You never can tell. I'm not worried about me just wrecking. I'm worried about somebody else that I don't even see coming just blindside me. That's that's the biggest fear. Never trust anyone. If you get a that spidey sense in your gut, man, I don't like that car. That car ain't some 
just back off. Don't, yeah, you know, let them go. Just let them go. Because if you get, every time I'm like, man, what was that? What's wrong? Oh, there he goes, does something stupid. And you're like, you kind of knew it was going to happen before it happened. Trust your gut. And never be in a hurry when you're on a bike. Uh, especially in the rain. Right. Man, every time I, you put your feet down yesterday, come to the red light, they just, just start sliding. Oh, <laughs> yeah. shit, there's a lot of oil yeah. on this road. <laughs> yeah, be it at a complete stop before you plant a foot down. Yes. <laughs> the slide and glide up to the, the yeah, red light. it's like, this is crazy. Yeah. All that oil comes to the surface when That's it rains. Right. Hey, Robert Simmons, man, uh, he'd, he'd make you do uh, 10 push-ups if he would have saw you do that. So, anyway, we got we to gotta go up um, Robert Simmons, be the boss of your motorcycle. I always thought I could ride a bike. I've been riding a bike since I could walk. And uh, until I met his content, I was like, I don't know anything. So when it comes to like low speed operation, you know, riding a motorcycle is easy. You can hop off a motorcycle at 80 miles an hour and that thing will go four more miles. It doesn't need you to operate it. But when you're doing under 10 miles an hour, that's when you really need to have some skills to operate an 800 pound motorcycle. Oh, yeah, like traffic and stuff. Yeah, when yeah. it's yeah, stop and go slow. But I yeah, mean, I, so. and I agree. I mean, I've been riding motorcycles since I was seven. I got my first motorcycle at seven. And yep. I, I got a lot of bad habits and I know it. But, you know, I mean, I could always use something to yeah. sharpen my skill set or find something new or different ways of handling a bike i mean i'm i'll I'll never say no to any type of training yeah yeah and i'm i'm pretty eager to go to one or two or many of his classes and just try to get more proficient on that especially we ride two up a lot Mm -hmm. you know and not that i'm reckless when you know i don't have someone on the back but i just there's just a little more ease you know just like you're only worried about yourself you know when you've got someone else on the back of that motorcycle you know, there there's a lot of trust that they have in you, and they're trusting that you know what the hell you're doing, that you can make this U-turn and not run into the ditch or not drop the bike in a parking lot or take it off the red light wanting to race or yeah, you know, we'll just blow the cobwebs out of it. You know, you know anyway, sounded like it was a little rough. All right, yeah, <laughs> Jimmy's getting beaten his back by his wife. Stop, 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 stop. Hey, stop, stop. Hey, can you not beat the driver of the motorcycle <laughs> until we have slowed down <laughs> below 10 miles an hour, please? You're going to make John yeah. and Deborah think we're irresponsible. <laughs> they already know we're yeah, irresponsible. Like Billy started it. <laughs> uh, I'm not taking any credit for that one. And Terry didn't say anything to you? No. She's used to me periodically being a jackass a little bit. <laughs> so it, it doesn't come as a shock or surprise. If it's real bad, though, she'll have a talking to me later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, you, you know you're an idiot, right? I'm like, yeah, but, you know, I'm your idiot. <laughs> yeah, I always like beat me up. Slide down, slide down. <laughs> yeah. You're going to make them think we're irresponsible. Yeah. Just uh, we are. We're yeah, on a bike. Yeah, don't punch me in the head while I'm being stupid on a motorcycle. It makes it even harder. Yeah, especially at night. <laughs> yeah, I <Like>, really. <laughs> Anyways, we made it home safely. We did. Yeah. All right. So we talked about the. I could just keep talking about the new bike, but anyway, I'll. Uh, she sure is pretty. I'll throw some pictures up right about now. Let you guys see it again. But anyway. Uh, it's a very expensive garage door opener. They gave it to me. It's not that expensive. <laughs> they gave it to me. Yeah, please. I know our yeah. audience is not that gullible. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But yeah, it, definitely shout out to all the guys at Adamac, Harley Davidson, and St. Augustine, Miss Virginia. You're an amazing person. Um, thank you. Tim, you're awesome. Hope you're enjoying the chopsticks. Pork chop, you the man. Ryan, always selling. You can buy a damn motorcycle from Ryan. How many have you bought from Ryan? Uh, Two. Wait. Oh, no. This is my first one I bought from Ryan. No, I thought you bought a road guide from... Nope. I bought that from a dude named Jeff that worked there for about a week. Uh, and you turned around and bought a bike right behind me, and you got Ryan... And then I bought another bike and got Ryan again. I got Ryan again. And then, of course. You bought this one. And then, yeah. Yeah. 
And Brian, you can. <laughs> yeah, he's got to have a big house. I mean, just commission off of us alone. Yeah, when Ryan comes to work, you can hear him coming because this helicopter lands and red carpet rolls out. And he, no, nice, well, no, yeah, nice, but uh, you know, the chauffeur opens the door. Mr. Yeah, Ryan, you have a nice Ryan, day, yeah. sir. I'll, I'll be, be out back. here in the heat waiting on you. Be back to pick you up after. You can uh, buy a bike from Ryan, come back the next day or the day after. Hey, man, ready to trade that thing in? <laughs> He's Ryan's always selling. <laughs> And uh, he uh, he did have the opportunity to sell my trade, so he sold that to someone he knows. So it went to a good. Sounds home. like he gave it away, but hey, yeah, not, you know they don't lose money. If they lost money, they wouldn't be. Oh there no, they made year. it up on you. I mean, yeah. they didn't lose money. <laughs> uh, you covered all those yeah. expenses. Yeah, well, hopefully, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, uh, it's a uh, yeah, that's one nice bike. It is. So I think don't somebody have like green them. dollar signs like painted all over it. That's kind of a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> kind of blend it in, like fade into the paint. Yeah. Like instead of the Riddler with the green question yeah. marks, just put the green dollar signs. Dollar signs everywhere. Yeah. So, uh, hey, you want to give a shout out for your little sign back yeah. there? Yeah. Uh, John, thank you very much. John's uh, giving me some uh, artwork to display behind me there. Really appreciate that, John. And uh, setting off the, the studios growing and growing, and uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have John on as a guest here soon. Can I get another microphone? Yeah, I mean, and, <laughs> we've had we've had guests on before. We never used a microphone. We just had the uh, GoPro set up. Yeah, it's it's easy to do. It only takes six hours of editing. Oh, uh, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, not a problem. All right, sir. So what else we got? I don't know. I can't. Well, really, the the big thing. I mean, news, we're not. Man. I mean, we're not even trying to get into the current events. I mean, we could just go into a rabbit hole with that all day. But I've we'll been see. out of it. I I, I, yeah. I haven't been up on current events here this week. I've been. Oh, there's a shitload, but I really don't want to go in that that rabbit hole. Yeah, we can talk about that maybe on the the RV ride out to Sturgis yeah, or something. Yeah. But yeah, there, I mean, let's don't depress everybody. No, uh, uh-uh. no, I don't know of. Uh, any good current events so i've been kind of focused on my getting my bike ready which is a current event he just that, bought that's it. that's the biggest current it's event. so current he hasn't even made a payment on it yet no nope. i'm sure i'll cry when that happens <laughs> <laughs> yeah first month won't hurt so bad because i'm i'm good to go on the first one that second one i'll be like Burr! what was i thinking there's a chance. <laughs> He's going to trade it in before the end of the year. There's a chance I get out the Sturgis <laughs> and someone goes, hey, man, you want to sell that thing? I'll be like, yes, yes, I will. <laughs> Everything has a price. I, yeah. I do love this bike, but I'm not an idiot. So if I'm if I'm approached by that is really debatable. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Please don't take that personal. But no, uh, buddy, don't you ever miss you, you an got, opportunity you, to give a shot at me? We we've, we've both had our moments. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're men. Of course, we're idiots. <laughs> you know? We just don't need to bring other people down to our standards. <laughs> Sorry, John. <laughs> Yeah, you're. Uh, <laughs> hang on for the ride, buddy. It's going to be yeah, a good one. <laughs> definitely a roller coaster. We all just need to start building some badass dog houses. Let's just do that. <laughs> yeah, I need a second floor with a pool table. Anyways, uh, hey, you're taking a sip of that drink there. Let's uh, well, we'll wind this thing down here. Yeah. And let's uh, rate this uh, Jefferson's bourbon. Let's do it. Um, Again, this was a kind of an oops. Oh, it was a big oops. But I think uh, I'm glad I made this mistake because uh, mm-hmm. we we've never had this particular Mm-mm. version of the bourbons. Jefferson, yeah, yeah. Well, you've always had the Jefferson Ocean. This is a uh, Jefferson Standard. Let me see some. Of them. Yeah, it's 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 brown like the other stuff. Yeah, brown. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's brown. Got Mr. Jefferson on my back. Mm-hmm. All right, and it's a, like a 83 proof. Yep. Cool. So drum roll, please. What's your, what's your, uh, what's your number? 
I like it. I'm going to give it a six. Yeah, that's good. I don't have a problem with that at all. It's uh, got good flavor to it. Mm-hmm. It's, again, man, I, I kind of like the lower octane stuff a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't quite as burn. Yeah, yeah it doesn't, doesn't burn. It's it's smooth right out the gate. Um, yeah, I, I like it. And we will rate Jefferson's Ocean here soon, but I'm not so sure on a blind taste test if I could taste the difference there. I bet you could. Yeah, one right after another. Yeah, you probably could. Yeah, but, I'm thinking you could. But it's been a little while since we had Jefferson Ocean, so it's not – we expected this to not be that good. No, I'll be honest with you. I, I wasn't – I didn't we, have we, high we, expectations we, for it. I we really were, didn't. I'm thinking – We were not excited. Oh, this is going to be our first low score. Yeah. Three. When I, when I realized <laughs> what I did, I was like, man, damn, I almost took it back. Well, not and, only that, but we actually – skipped over it a couple of times not wanting to drink it because we oh, thought it was going to be that bad that's right we actually got this on episode 29 of the podcast and we skipped it twice because we yeah, didn't we thought it was gonna, we had low uh, expectations we're not gonna I can't do it well do i stand corrected because it's um it's yeah i got it at a six i'll, I'll i don't i don't mind it at all if i seen it and didn't like anything else i'd order it right up no Got a good good flavor. You know, I mean, you've been running through a lot of uh, numbers lately, you know. I mean, at the dealership, you know, about 400 here, 600 here. Three, I mean, all those oil changes and stuff, you know. So uh, I'm, I'm not sure how your math skills are. So I'm going to I'm gonna roll. I'm going to make it easy for you. I'm going to give it a six to. Wow. Yeah. I, so I, it's nice. actually smooth. I, I do like it. Let's carry the one with the divide by three. Six. Average, yeah. All right, nailed it. Yeah, no, thanks, buddy. You yeah. made it easy. I, I was trying and to because, like, I appreciate that. I see. Oh, I, I was going to do like you know five point eight three, but I think it just it would explode. He's <laughs> 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 starting to twitch. C- <laughs> cannot compute. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's a six all yeah. day long. Yeah. Yeah. Nice round number there. Yeah, it's a, and, it's actually good. I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. It's pretty smooth. It is. Yeah, and uh, so now I'm upset. That I was upset about being upset about getting it. So there's nothing to get no, upset about. Good stuff. Yeah. Well, Billy, hey, I think the next time we probably do something like this, might we might get an episode in before we leave, but uh, if not, we'll definitely be inbound to Sturgis. Odds are we're going to be our next time the camera's on is probably going to be on Saturday. We're going to be hooting and hollering and just happy as hell that we're on the road. Out on the road. And uh, we'll be putting out content be be on the lookout for some quick shorts are really fun and easy to do off the cuff stuff off the cuff and those can be put up instantly off an iphone so we'll be pumping out a bunch of those for you guys as well and uh just trying to keep the shenanigans going until uh, we see you guys again on the and next don't episode. don't get scared if Captain Soggy pops up, because I promise you he probably will <laughs> pop up between now and the time we get back. Yeah, we we, we might have Captain Soggy on the schedule, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, it's <laughs> – enjoy, everyone. Thanks for uh, watching. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next time out here.